Sure, so I'm Katie DeFonso and I'm one of the GLPs here in Mullen Library. I work in the Semitics I-Core Library down here and uh, we're in one of the rooms of that department right now. As a GLP here, I've been doing a lot of digitization work. Um, I've also been doing some research for uh, Dr. Blanchard, who's the curator of the department here. Um, and in terms of what we have in our collection, we have materials related to really the Near Eastern languages. And what's really unique about our department is that teaching actually goes on here in the rooms. So you see a lot of books in here, and this is actually where classes take place as well, which is something really interesting. So uh, these are some of the uh, cylinder seals that are really the focus of some of the research I was doing last year for uh, Dr. Blanchard. And uh, these were acquired um, in the late 1880s um, by Dr. Henri Ivernat, who was one of the first faculty members here at Catholic University. And he uh, basically brought them back from one of his trips to the Middle East. And so my job was really to do some provenance research and find out as much as I could about um, any other collections that he might have dealt with that are at other museums. So kind of really seeking to establish connections between our collection, um, these are six of those seals right here, and other collections around the world. I uncovered um, a little bit. Um, it's really very difficult when um, you're doing that type of provenance research to find really explicit references, particularly during that time period, um, to these kinds of materials and where precisely they were found. Um, but I did uncover a little bit, um, and uh, it's interesting to kind of learn more about that. And even if you're not able to really find many explicit references to this one dealer who I was looking for, um, it's a way of establishing contacts with other museums and at least letting us know what's out there. So um, there was one thing I guess that everyone should know. Um, well, first, um, even though we do work by appointment here, um, we encourage you to reach out if you do think there is some way we can be helpful. Uh, we'll do our best to do that. Um, and really, not only our collection, but Mullen Library in general, um, there's a lot to offer. So uh, come in and see what you might find.